Little girls are the nicest things that happen to people. They're born with a little bit of angel shine about them. Though it wears thin sometimes, there's always enough left to lasso your heart. Even when they're sitting in the mud, or crying temperamental tears, or parading up the street in mama's best clothes. A little girl can be sweeter and badder oftener than anyone else in the world. She can jitter around and stomp and make funny noises that frazzle your nerves. Yet just when you open your mouth, she stands there, demure, with that special look in her eyes. A girl is innocence playing in the mud, beauty standing on its head, and motherhood dragging a doll by the foot. Girls are available in five colors, black, white, red, yellow, or brown. Yet Mother Nature always manages to select your favorite color when you place your order. They disprove the law of supply and demand. There are millions of little girls, but each is as precious as rubies. God borrows from many creatures to make a little girl. He uses the song of a bird, the squeal of a pig, the stubbornness of a mule, the antics of a monkey, the spryness of a grasshopper, the curiosity of a cat, the speed of a gazelle, the slyness of a fox, and the softness of a kitten. And to top it all off, he adds the mysterious mind of a woman. A little girl likes new shoes and party dresses, small animals, first grade, noisemakers, the girl next door, Dolls, make-believe, dancing lessons, ice cream, kitchens, coloring books, makeup, cans of water, going visiting, tea parties, and one boy. She doesn't care so much for visitors, boys in general, large dogs, hand-me-downs, straight chairs, vegetables, or snowsuits, or staying in the front yard. She's the loudest when you're thinking, the prettiest when she's provoked you and the busiest at bedtime, and the quietest when you want to show her off, and the most flirtatious when she absolutely must not get the best of you again. Who else can cause you more grief, joy, irritation, satisfaction, embarrassment, and genuine delight than this combination of Eve, Salome, and Florence Nightingale? She can muss up your home, your hair, your dignity, spend your money, your time, and your temper. And then just when your patience is ready to crack, her sunshine peeks through, and you've lost again. Yes, she's a nerve-wracking nuisance, just a noisy bundle of mischief. But when your dreams tumble down and the world is a mess, and it seems that you're pretty much of a fool after all. She can make you a king when she climbs up on your knee and whispers, I love you best of all. <laughs>